Oh, the sound of the ray gun is awesome. All right, so let's see what perk dropped in. What, which one? Oh, yes, it's Jug. Thank goodness. Nuketown, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, the good old dolphin dive. You can't do this in Black Ops 3. It's so sad. Uh, should we... Um, we've got enough to box. We'll box once and then we'll buy double tap. Oh. Um, actually... I really don't think there's any point buying double tap at this point. Maybe round 10, 10 to 12 is when we buy double tap. No! Oh god, oh god, I forgot that the round had started! Oh, the round hadn't finished. Okay, we definitely need speed cola. Okay, um... I think we're going to go to the other end of the map. We're gonna go here because this is the this is probably the best training spot in the map. Oh, and the box is just spawned here. I've only just realised. That's pretty handy. Hmm, I don't know whether I should replace the ray gun with that. No, we're gonna we're gonna keep the ray gun as our emergency weapon. Ow! No, you don't do that, naughty. At least you've got jug now. I feel safe. You literally don't feel safe in zombies until you got jug. Why? The box is being mean to me today. Yeah, I know I haven't been playing Black Ops 2 Zombies for a while, but there, that's no reason to be mean to me. I know you've given me the RPD and the ray gun, but every other weapon has been less than decent. I really love that when you get double points at the end of the round. Oh, hello, you dropped down from the roof. Uh, we'll go and buy a double tap now because the RPD is qu quite weak compared to the hammer and the L-shot. Hammer is a strong... Oh, one, I'm going over there to box. The box is literally where I've just come from. Oh, so what is this nasty green goo dropping down from the ceiling? What, what was going on here? Oh, one spin off the ray gun mark two. God damn it. 
I know why I was going this way. I was going this way to uh, get double tap. The root fish count. We made a crawler. Oh, no! A crawler is not killing me again! What is that? That's an insta. I thought it was a nuke at first. I was gonna be like, no! Nah, not, not again, that, nah. I think we're gonna keep that crawler just in case, um. I don't, I don't know, um, there's not really anything to do in this map, like, there's no easter egg to do or anything. Like, this map stumped a lot of YouTubers for a very long time, like, there was this. See, that's a, that's a movable thing. Because Treyarch actually trolled us, because... They thought that this was some sort of message. Um, I'll show you guys. Uh, we all just... Oh, oh, yes, fire sale, boys. Box right here. Oh, baby. Yes, we just got the hammer. We just got the hammer. Problem is, we run super slow now. Watch that. Oh, no, 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 no. The gun that must not be named. Oh, that's actually quite good. I'm going to take that. I'm going to replace that with the RPD. Okay, that was a pretty successful fire sale. Now, the M27, interesting story. Like, I actually tried to record this, um, like, ages ago, when I was doing Black Ops 2 Zombies, and the whole thing pretty much got corrupted. But that was the first time on camera that I got the M27. That was the first time ever in Nuketown that I got the M27. I didn't even know that it was in the box. I was just like, is that the Galil? No, it's not. That is the, uh, that's the S12. No, it's not. It looks different. And this, this gun is literally heavenly. It's that good. I think we're literally set now. Look how powerful this thing is with double tap. And we got the hammer as well. This is literally perfect. Like, for, like, in Black Ops 1, 2, and 3, because... Like, in World of War, it was, Zombies was basically just a test to see whether the community would like it. But in Black Ops 1, 2, and 3, there was a bonus map that wasn't DLC. In Black Ops 1, it was uh, Call of the Dead. In Black Ops 2, it was Nuketown. And in Black Ops 3, it was The Giant, which you got with the season pass anyway. Um... <clears throat> I just wish they'd done a bit more with this map, because the giant, like, I've shown you guys both the easter eggs on my playthrough of the giant. There's the one where you get the annihilator, and then there's the one where you unlock the secret perk, being either stamina up or deadshot, which, both of them are interesting easter eggs, and I really like them. Call of the Dead had its own proper easter egg, well... What was classed as a proper easter egg back then, it didn't. Like, to me, oh my god, there is a lot of them. To me, a proper easter egg now is one that has an end cutscene, but it didn't always used to be that way. Like, it used to be that you just did a bunch of stuff and there was no end cutscene. There was just a bunch of, like, talking and stuff. But that had a proper easter egg. This is the only bonus map that has no easter egg. There is literally nothing. Oh, for God's sake, stupid fast crawlers. I think we've literally only got crawlers. 
No, we've got a few. Yeah, I just wish they'd done a bit more with this map. Like, maybe I did a... Uh, I don't know. It's just like, there, it was a bit generic, if you know what I mean. Like, there was no custom perks. I just wish they'd done something more with Nuketown. It could have been... I mean, it's still a fun map, don't get me wrong, but they could have done something more with it. Like, added a custom perk that was useful just for this map. Like, something to do with the, um, the perk drops, like, maybe it told you what round the next, um, maybe it told you what round the next perk was going to drop at and what perk it was going to be. Like, just as a little message in the top right corner or something, just something like that. Or a little easter egg that you could do that got or some little audio and a tiny bit of the story. I just wish they'd done something more with it because it could have been quite fun. Say hello to my little friend. We've literally got a butt ton of points and nothing to spend them on at this point. I suppose we ought to go around and open some doors because there's a few doors that we haven't actually opened yet, like we got this one. Yeah, may as well just go around and open every door on the map. Just so, um... It's not, like, annoying when, um... Let's get rid of this, um... Buy Claymore, you can buy the Bowie Knife. The Bowie Knife's not gonna be any good. Because it's not insta kill. And look at this. That bicycle fell over. That that is a scripted event thing. Oh, there is a lot more than I thought there were. Right, so we got a couple of slow ones so I can show you. So. It says fallout shells are there. We thought these were secret messages left by Treyarch for what to do. We took that to be the power, the, the power generator that we shot. That was obviously the bicycle. The Treyarch symbol, we thought that it was something to do with uh, Trinity Avenue, just because it's got TR in it, I guess. But of course, the Nuketown Easter egg. There literally is no Easter egg. I think there's like some voice, like some radios that happen to switch on every now and then. I don't care if it's like abusive property. No one lives here anymore. So we ought we can open up the power up shed as well. We're not gonna get that nuke. I'm not sure if the power up actually respawns like after you've got it. I don't think it does though. I'm so glad we got um Juggernog so quickly. It's literally a lifesaver. Open this, yep. I think that's all the doors on the map. Yeah, I think that is. 